This time we stayed at Lake City Campground in Lake City, Florida. We decided to stay here because when you looked at Google, it had some very long sites. Looked like they'd be easy to get in and out of. We're Dave and Karen from Watts on Wheels, and we sold our sticks and bricks to RV full time now that we are retired. We travel with our heavy duty truck Leroy, our two KM motorcycles, our DRV Dixie, and our smart car Zippy. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell to be notified when we post a new video. This campground was easy to get to. It's about five miles from I 75 and about one mile off of I 10. It's right on Route 441. Check in is at 2 o'clock, and check out is at noon. When the office got checked in, and then we just backed up to get to our site. This campground was easy to get around and pulled right in. Piece of cake. Nothing to it. So about three miles from Lake City and about five miles from shopping, lots of restaurants, Walmart, Home Depot, etc. So it's a great stopover place. Somebody did a wonderful job on their website because they make this campground look like it's new and fresh and it's not. The facilities are relatively old. I will say that the play area for the kids was really nice and the pool looked really nice. Unfortunately, it's not heated. The pool is open April 1st through November 1st. But the office, laundry, and bathroom area uh, needs a little um, sprucing up. Here is the campground site map that they give you. You enter in here. We're on site 3, which is a super long site. We've got some annuals, I think, over in here and also over in here. It's just a big loop with a fishing pond, a walking trail back here, place for dumpster, and where you check in here. They also have showers and laundry, pool, and a rec hall. Go check it out. Okay, there's the office. They have sporadic hours with the ducks. They have um, morning hours and afternoon hours. They do have propane. Yes, they do. And this is. And they soup. have about 59 sites here. Most of these sites are close to 70 feet long. couple of homes back there. Old park. Can you tell? <laughs> and I got a couple of these cabins here. And you got the rec hall right here near the office along with the pool and I'm going to stop in and take a look. Somebody does live in part of this. The rec hall part's open from 8 to 10. This is across from the rec hall. And right, we'll go inside. A little air hockey. You can have packages delivered here if they're too big for their mailbox. I'll put them in here. Old building. A couple of games, pool table. You got to pay for the games. On their website, it says our rec room offers a pool table, video games, and pinball machine. The rec room is a great place to host a party because we have lots of tables and chairs as well as a toaster oven, microwave, and cable TV. We also have our book exchange in the rec room, so come in and check it out. Well, you can tell me what you think. That's it for the rec hall. The 
pool is right outside here. It's December and they currently have it locked. But if you want to go in it, they will unlock it for you. But she told us because the nights are cold that the water is freezing. So, not really recommended this time of year. It's nice and clean. Probably in the summertime it would be wonderful. We have a little kids play area here. You see you are on Route 10, so you do have traffic noise. It's good for a stayover for a day or two on your way someplace, but not a place you'd vacation. As you come in, if you were to turn right before you got to the office, then you would see sites that are on the right hand side. Most of these I think are probably annuals. We haven't seen anybody come or go from here. No. For 30 amp full hookup, it's $51 a night. For 50 amp full hookup, it's $53 a night. And they do take good SAM discount. So I think the sites up front that we're in are probably the ones for the people who are transient. You really little cabins. And then they got storage back here. That's it. There's only like 60 sites or so here. Yeah. There is a walking trail supposedly all around this area. And there's your pond. Here's your laundry in the back of the office. And Dave, how was the shower? It's all right. Adequate. Adequate. You run out of hot water? No. Is it hot enough for you? Oh yeah. Plenty oh, hot. Good. Let's see what the laundry looks like. Washers are two dollars, dryers are two dollars, open 24 hours a day. All coin operated. Now let's see what we got for the showers here. Dave found this sign in the bathroom. It says, please do not clog the toilet with toilet paper. You do not need a whole roll to wipe your butt. After you go to the bathroom, please use a little toilet paper, then flush, then use a little more, then flush. Have some common courtesy. If you keep doing this, it will result in our rates going up through the campground. We also have video cameras pointed towards the bathrooms and can figure out who is doing this. So stop doing this. Other customers, if you notice someone doing this or know who it is, please notify office. Thank you. What did you think when you first read that? I couldn't believe it. I just, like, you got to be kidding me. What, are we in kindergarten here? <laughs> Good Lord. They give you a number to be able to get in. Their website says, our bathrooms are clean daily and we always get complimented on how well kept they are. Each bathroom has three showers, three toilets, plenty of lighting, full length mirrors, and four sinks. You be the judge. Water is, floor is wet and dirty. They've got a door and a curtain and a bench and some hooks. guess they're all about the same. Apparently none of them are handicapped. Small. I'm surprised Dave likes that. It gets smaller than our RV. Although it looks green, they really don't have much grass here. It's mostly like clover and just ground clover cover and um, a lot of ant so we sprayed and you can see the ground can be pretty muddy if it gets wet very powdery
I think this is one of the longest setups we've ever seen. Now that's impressive. From what we could tell, it looked like you had a workshop in there. We got small picnic tables on each side. You can see where they've got lots of ants hills, but the odd thing is we actually have not seen any ants. Full hookup includes sewer and cable, 50, 30 amp, water, and Wi-Fi antenna is right there, so we had good internet connection as well. And their website says, we have two ponds on our property. One is for fishing, one is for relaxing. Well, the relaxing one was a big, green, yucky, swamp-looking thing. They do have some white ducks that live in that area, but do not mess with them. They're only about 15 minutes away from Lake City. Plenty of shopping, lots of restaurants, and that sort of thing. So... You are very close to those amenities. We are down in Lakeside, Florida, downtown area for the Christmas parade. We haven't been in the parade. So we've been at a Christmas parade or in one. I used to be in one when I was in a marching band in a long time. So it's going to be interesting. I'm excited because Santa's in it. Yeah. Santa came. He's here. I saw him earlier. National Champion Cloggers. Well, I don't know about that corner. <laughs> I know. I know Santa's coming, coming. Here comes Santa. Watch, watch. It's quite the sleigh he's on there. Here comes Santa Claus. Here comes Santa Claus. Right down Marion Lane. Uh -huh. I know. All right, good job. Hey, there's Rudolph, man. This is downtown historic Lake City, Florida. And they got to park all lit up. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. We'd love to hear from you in the comments below, even if it's just to say hi. Don't forget to subscribe.